Today we're going to take this rose and give it a brand new color. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to learn how to change the color of an object inside your photo. If you'd like to follow along with the same image I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. After opening up the photo inside Affinity, the first thing we need to do is make a selection of the object that we want to change its color. In this case, we want to select the rose because that's the object we want to change its color. To make a selection, we'll come to the Selection Persona and then choose the Smart Selection Brush. Now all we need to do is paint a selection on the rose. As a reminder, you can change the brush width in the contextual toolbar and change the mode from Add to Subtract if you accidentally select too much. Keeping these tips in mind, I'll speed up the video and make a selection of the rose. Now that I have a decent selection made, I'm going to press on the Refine Selection tool. By simply clicking on Refine Selection, Affinity automatically improves our selection. Now all we need to do is press on the check mark to confirm our selection. Now all we need to do is apply an HSL adjustment layer. To do this, we'll come to the Adjustment Studio and then select HSL. Now we can change the hue slider in the contextual toolbar to change the color of the rows. To remove our selection, we can two finger tap anywhere on the picture and then press deselect. If you'd like to see a before and after, you can come to the Layer Studio and check the HSL adjustment off and on. If you ever want to change the color of the rose again, just come to the Layer Studio, double tap on the HSL adjustment layer, and then you'll have the option to change the hue slider in the contextual toolbar. Changing the colors of objects in your photo really is as simple as that. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new to Affinity Photo and want to learn more about this program, I encourage you to check out our complete beginner's guide to Affinity Photo down in the video description. We cover all the tools and techniques that you need to master this program. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.